majority of these ants are actually going in from underneath the hives. Uh, the beekeeper's been doing his best to try to treat around them to slow these ants down, but he's not been very successful at it. Pest control expert Tom Raspberry knows a lot about fire ants. He knows how destructive they can be, how quickly they multiply. He knows how to kill them and how to keep them from coming back. But most importantly, Tom knows that these are not fire ants. These ants are much, much harder to, to even attempt to control compared to fire ants. No, these aren't fire ants. They're worse. These ants are commonly called raspberry crazy ants. Probably will be the worst insect that we've ever had to deal with in this part of the United States. That's all we seconds and then it starts really getting weird on A non-native species, the raspberry crazy ant, most likely came to the Gulf Coast on a trade vessel from South America. Now, the scientific name for this stowaway is, you ready? Paratruchina near Pubens, commonly known as the raspberry crazy ant, named after, you guessed it, Tom Raspberry. He discovered the little buggers back in 2002. In 2002, I was at a, a chemical plant in Pasadena. I saw a trail of ants that I didn't recognize. The following year, that ant infested that same site into the hundreds of millions. That's when all the light bulbs and whistles started going off and that's when I call, called in uh, Dr. Gold at Texas A&M and asked for them to help me identify it. Each layer. Originally, it was identified as a false honey ant. Then it went to, it was a, a species called, common name of Caribbean crazy ant. And we've since figured out that we don't believe that's what it is. You're telling me that all the guys with all the letters before and after their names couldn't figure out what this thing was? Correct. Right now it's called the raspberry crazy ant. But you're raspberry. Yes. You've got an ant named after you? Yes. I don't know whether I've soiled my family name or, or brought prestige to it. It, is, it means a lot to me that to try to make something happen with this ant because I think it's going to devastate Texas. When you say make something happen, you want to kill them. Well, I want to kill them, I want to learn how to control them. And I want to do it before it's too late. Now, unlike some ants, Tom's namesakes don't sting or live in underground colonies. Instead, they blanket huge sections of land with billions of zigzagging soldiers foraging for food. And to make matters worse, Raspberry ants love to get into electronics and short out circuit boards. They also kill off indigenous wildlife, spread like wildfire, and scare the pants off of Tom Raspberry. At the current rate of spread, uh, I feel like they're going to pretty much take over the entire southern region of the United States. I've had customers call that are actually filling up an entire vacuum cleaner bag every single day of the week. A vacuum cleaner bag? Yes, sir. Full of ants? Full of dead ants and live ants. Since Tom blew the whistle in 2002, a lot of folks have been calling 281 Dead Bug. From Beaumont to San Antonio, Tom treats hundreds of sites, including both Houston airports and several chemical plants. Even NASA hired Tom to keep mission control free of the raspberry crazy ants. Steve Candler is a facility manager at the Johnson Space Center. We have electronics everywhere and these ants were well known for getting into electronic systems and they, they bridge electrical gaps, short out the system, make it so that the systems fail. We're being proactive. We were proactive for a year before we actually found them. We were learning about it. 
other communities, other entities like chemical plants are going to have to be, do the same thing. Back at the infested bee colony, the scene is grim. The problem with these ants, they're so small that the bees don't have any natural defense because they can't sting them. One of the hives has already succumbed to the raspberry crazy ants and the others will most likely follow. The honeybees are simply outnumbered and defenseless. Tom Raspberry knows how they feel. Though most days seem like a losing battle, Tom is determined to stop his namesake from taking over Texas. You see, Tom's a good exterminator, and a good exterminator always finishes the job. I'm gonna keep doing all the research and, and helping with any projects that, that I can. Uh, I feel like, it may sound corny, but I feel like it's my duty to at least try to do my part where we can have something happen, get, get the federal and state government to actually step forward and do what needs to happen. At this point, I don't see a happy ending. 